Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this floor plan in Photoshop. First thing we need to do is export our plan. Okay, I'm going to do this with Revit because that's a software I use to model. You can export your plan from SketchUp or whatever. Okay, whatever software you use. All right, so um, when you look at this plan, you find out that I've already done some work on the graphics. You can see the wall is looking nice. Okay, you can do that in your software. If you cannot do that in your software, you can always do it in Photoshop. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to focus on coloring and coloring alone. So I'm going to select these, these um, tags and I'm going to hide them all. Okay. We don't need them. What we are doing is presentation drawing. I'm going to select these two and I'm going to hide it. Okay, I'm going to export only the plan and only the plan alone. All right, so I'm going to hit Control P on my keyboard because I want to be able to view what I'm going to export. I'm going to restrict this. Okay, now if I do that again and then preview, it's going to show the plan. Okay, if I had used this other, I wouldn't have been able to preview this plan to see what I'm going to export. It has a, a hot tip for you. So I'm going to preview again. Okay. And then I'm going to click OK to export. Now I'm going to select where I want it to export and I'm going to export it there. And say OK. All right. And I'm going to say yes. All right. Now that I've exported it, let's go over to Photoshop where we're going to add the colors. All right. So let's go ahead and import our file. Okay. So I'm going to place embedded. So I'm going to go to the document and I'm going to select it. I'm going to import it. And I'll say, okay, that will place the file at the middle. Okay. Now if I want, I can choose to scale this up a little bit more, but let's leave it the way it is. Okay. I like things being cute. Now, how do we select the colors I want? You do that by using the magic one too. Okay. Make sure you are selecting the PDF file that you just imported and then select clicking on on the space that you want to select that will add the spaces for you okay but let's not select spaces yet i want to tell you about colors now when i come over here you find out that the default colors that we have you can easily go through them now we have eight spaces here two of which are the same now i need to have unique colors that are going to be magnificent and nice so how do i do that i do that by selecting colors from an image so how do i do that I just go to Pinterest or wherever I get my image from, or if I already have an image saved in my system, I'm going to just bring it in and drag it in like this. All right. That is going to open this for me. Now I want to be able to get some image. I want to get like seven or eight images from this picture. I just drag it in now. So how do I do that? Wait, let me put this here. How do I do that? I'll just go and export this file. I'll be like export save for web now it's going to show me all this color here in the color lookup here now i'm going to say okay i want eight colors it is going to give me eight colors here and let's say 10 in case i don't like to i'll be able to just leave the ones i don't like because i'm already seeing a color that i don't like it but then i don't just save this thing out i do it by coming over here and then saving color table okay and i'm going to come here and call it um floor plan color color one and then i hit save okay that's all i'll just cancel this now when i come in here it is time for me to load those colors the color i just saved now i'll just come over here click here import color swatches okay now when you come over here i'm going to put the link to this in the description okay so you can copy it and put what you need to put to be able to get here you will not see anything when you come over here you're not going to see anything you have to change this to act that has color table then you will see the stuff we just saved that's the floor plan color one and then you load it in when you do that it is going to come in and it's going to be here okay collapse all this make them smaller so we can focus on what we need to focus on now you can see the colors that we're having all right so i'm now going to pick from this color and i'm going to paint my plan so i'm going to do i'm going to do ctrl d and then w select this okay you can also use my key to to make a clean selection like i'm doing now all right 
Good. So I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to use this paint bucket tool. You can hit G on your keyboard and then you come here, you select. Okay. Now I don't like this thing that happened here. I want the colors to be restricted to the room that they belong in. So I'm going to use the marquee tool. Select the extent of that room like so. Add to the selection too with this. Okay, Ctrl D first to deselect what you don't need. And then with that, I will hit the delete button. That will take away the part that we don't need. And then I'm going to hit Ctrl D to deselect everything. Now I'm going to change this thing to multiply so it shows the lines underneath in the case of the staircase. All right, so I'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit to 75. Okay, so the next one I want us to work on is the bedroom. Okay, I'm just going to use, create a new layer and then, okay, use our magic wand to do the same thing over here. This time around, I will deselect the areas I don't want with the marquee selection tool. Okay, and I'll add the part I want also with the marquee selection too. And I'm going to pick a different color. I'm going to pick this color, going to apply this to it and then set it to multiply. I'm going to reduce this particular one to 45. Now I'm going to do the same for all the spaces. Okay, when I'm done, we are going to look at how to make this drawing look better and nicer, okay? All right, so I'm done coloring the plan. Okay, now it's time for us to add a bit of, you know, some shadows and all that. So how do I add shadows in this? Okay, so first thing I need to do is duplicate this. So I'll select this and I hit Ctrl J and it duplicates it for me. I'll just come, make sure it's selected and then nudge it two steps to the side or even more. Okay, just like that. And then set it to multiply. And then go to the filter, apply blur, Gaussian blur to it. Okay, now I'm going to increase the radius. Okay, just like that. Pick it underneath. I'm going to reduce this a little bit. Now let's go and, and work on that Gaussian blow a little bit more. Okay. Now I don't want this blow the, the Gaussian blur to show everywhere. I'm going to apply a mask, a layer mask, and I'm going to hide what I don't want to show using the brush. I'm going to select that one too. I duplicated it, so I want to make it more pronounced. So I'll select this and then I'll reduce this thing to 50. Okay. Now, if we wanted, we could have made this wall any color we want in Revit before exporting it, but because we didn't do that, I'm just going to leave this because this video is now beginning to get too long. All right. So 
that's it for this video that's how i did that stuff that's how i did this stuff that's how i make i made the plan this plan see the way it is popping out all right so if you enjoyed this video give me a like if you're new to the channel consider subscribing not only subscribing ring the notification bell so you get notified each time i drop new content like this okay uh but then if you don't like these white patches okay if you don't like these white patches you can just simply select it like so you just have to decide which part gets the white patch I have decided that I am going to give it to the living room. You can decide to, if that's what you want, or you can give the white patch to the bedroom or something. It doesn't really matter, okay? So I'll just quickly cover them up. Okay. Let me add this to it too. All right, now you can see it is covered up and it's looking nicer. You can even make that white patch um, black if you so much desire. So that's it. So bye-bye, see you in the next video.